Hello, I'm Miss Carol from the Grand Ledgeary District Library and welcome to our story time for Pigeon as President. As you might have known if you came to the library from voter registration day in September through voting day in November, we did a voting in the library for president of story time. And our winner is Pigeon. He's from the Mo Willems books, if you don't know, and he's kind of a little grumpy sometimes. But his most one of the, his first book was Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. And so we've got this plushie. Later, once we have toys on the floor, you'll be able to play with it. But for now, Pigeon says he's going to stay in the back and supervise all the librarians and make sure we're working hard. So you ready to read about Pigeon? Our first book in honor of Pigeon today is the classic Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. It's written and illustrated by Mo Willems and published by Hyperion Pictures, Hyperion Books for Kids. Look, here's Pigeon. What is he dreaming of? Is he dreaming of a bus with him driving it? So here we've got a guy in a uniform saying, Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So here he is leaving the bus. And do you see who's peeking out of the corner? Is that pigeon? Let's find out. It is pigeon. Pigeon says, I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? What do you think? Should we let Pigeon drive the bus? Please. I'll be careful. I'll tell you what. I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Uh oh, it looks like the pigeons may be getting a little grumpy over there. What do you think? Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No? I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. What do you think? Should we let Pigeon pretend to drive the bus? What did the bus driver ask us? Oh, come on. Just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? What's the big deal? It's just a bus. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. Oh no, look at Pigeon. He's kind of freaking out, isn't he? Now he's all worn out and angry. And look, he shed a lot of feathers, didn't he? Look who's back. It's the bus driver. He says, I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Did we let the pigeon drive the bus? No, we didn't. So he says, great, thanks a lot. Meanwhile, Pigeon's thinking, uh-oh. Bye, says the bus driver. 
Now Pigeon looks kind of disappointed, doesn't he? But that's not gonna last long because look what's coming. Hey, says Pigeon. Now look what the Pigeon's dreaming of driving. Now he wants to drive the semi-truck. Do you think he's gonna get to drive the semi-truck? So, since I mentioned Pre Pigeon was going to be president, do you know what every president needs? They need an inauguration day where they take, formally take the oath and become president. So we're gonna give Pigeon here a little swearing in ceremony. Now, I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna say the oath and then Pigeon's gonna repeat it after me. And if you want to join in where he says president, you could say the word participant, which means you're someone who's at story time listening and engaging and having fun. Are you ready, Pigeon? Yep. Okay. Now, Pigeon, hold up your right wing Roll up your right hand, and you can repeat after me. I, Pigeon, do solemnly swear. I, Pigeon, do solemnly swear to faithfully execute the office of President of Storytime. To faithfully execute the office of President of Storytime. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, Welcome everyone for fun and learning at Storytime. Welcome everyone for fun and learning at Storytime. Well, congratulations, President Pigeon. You are now the president of Storytime. Well, our new president of Storytime has requested that we read another book all about him. So our next book about Pigeon is The Pigeon Has to Go to School. It's written and drawn by Mo Willems and published by Hyperion Books for Children. So here in the beginning is pictures of desks and chairs. And here our president is saying, wait, don't read that title. But the title of the book says, the pigeon has to go to school. Too late, rats, says Pigeon. Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question, any question. Oh, did you ask him a question? It doesn't look like he knows the answer. Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty, not going to school, baby, baby pigeon. Oh look, pigeon's got a baby picture of himself with a bus, isn't he cute? Here the pigeon has a lot of questions. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if? Uh-oh, here Pigeon's kind of getting very, very worried, isn't he? What if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff. What about all the stuff? There is so much stuff to learn. What if I learn too much? My head might pop right off. 
Do you really think his head will pop off if he learns stuff? I don't think it works like that, do you? I'm scared. Oh, pigeon. Pigeon kind of getting all worried all over the place, isn't he? What will happen at school? He worries. What if there is math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? Reading can be hard with one big eye. What about lunch? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you and books and classrooms and other birds to work and play with. Maybe a playground. Oh, that is school. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? What was was it was a was it a what? Uh oh. Do you see what pigeon sees? That's a school bus, isn't it? And what did he want to re what did he want to drive in the last book? Well here he doesn't get to drive one. But it looks like he's gonna get to ride in one to go to school. He sure looks eager. Step aside! Coming through! The pigeon has to go to school. So it looks like now that he knows he gets to ri ride in the school bus, he's very eager to go to school. Look at him here on the last page with all of his classmates. Looks like we've got an owl and a, maybe a toucan. Oh, and there's duckling and a penguin. That looks like a good class of, of birds, doesn't it? Maybe pigeon will like school.